Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com, and I want to quickly show you how to use the Java ternary operator in your code. Now, as you can see, I've got a little replit going on here. And if you know a little bit about if else statements in Java, it shouldn't be too intimidating. When I run it, all it does is generate a random number using math.random and I check to see, hey, is it less than zero? Because if it is, I'm gonna print out the random number is negative. If it's greater than zero, I say, hey, the random number is positive. Now. That's an if else statement and look how verbose that is. That's not going to impress anybody who writes Python code. So why don't we use the Java ternary operator here? Here's how you use it. The idea is this first declare a variable. I'm going to declare a variable called result. That's what I did in the uh, example beforehand. And then you assign that variable result to the result of the Java ternary operator. Now the ternary operator works like this. You have to provide a condition. Now we know what our condition is. The condition is math.random, right? And checking to see if math.random is less than zero. That's the condition. That's what we did before. That's what we're gonna do now. Okay, what do we do if it is actually less than zero? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna return the word negative because numbers that are less than zero are negative. They've got a horrible attitude. You don't wanna hang around them, such negativity. Anyways, that's what we do in our code. Now notice we didn't do return negative. We didn't do system out print negative. We just typed in the value double quotes negative, it's a string. And what do you think we're gonna do if it's positive? Well, you got the answer. We're just gonna type out positive, right? There we go. And that's it. We are done. Our Java ternary operator is complete. Now we gotta do a little printout. So system.out.println and say, hey, the random number is, and then do that nasty string concatenation plus result. Throw in our semicolons there, because we're not JavaScript developers. And I think all of that looks good. What did I miss? I see a red squiggly line there, but I have a feeling as soon as I run this code, boom, everything is going to work. And the result is, the random number is positive. And so there you go. That's how you get a Java ternary operator to work. And now let me just remind you that all of that code there replaces all of this code here. Now I do have to make sure I don't redeclare that variable because you can't do that in Java. But yeah, I mean, basically that's what we did. We had this whole content over here if else do something else and we replace it with just one well maybe two lines of code but who is counting and so there you go that's how you use the java ternary operator now if you enjoyed that tutorial why don't you head over to the serverside.com i'm the editor-in-chief over there we've got lots of great tutorials on java DevOps, Git, GitHub, microservice development, Jakarta EE, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ is the handle. And finally, why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?